Hi guys, this is Kalira Hudson of Wally Play Designs, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a yarn tassel to attach to your knitted items. So for this technique, I'm just doubling worsted weight yarn. That way it speeds up the process a bit. Um, also a measuring tape, a metal crochet hook, a size F, or 3.75 millimeter number five, and then a pair of very sharp scissors with a long edge on them. So I'm gonna set aside the scissors and crochet hook, and the first thing we're gonna do is measure out two pieces of yarn that is, again, held double-stranded, and we're gonna measure both of these pieces to 15 inches. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure out the first piece. There's 15 inches. Okay, so we're done with that measuring tape. And then we're gonna measure out our second piece of double-stranded yarn to that same length. And now we're just gonna set aside both of these to use in a little bit. So have those fairly close by. Okay, so we're gonna take our double-stranded worsted weight yarn and we're going to wrap it around our hand, right about the middle here. We're just gonna leave a short little tail here. But we're gonna wrap that from front to back and once it comes back to meet the bottom, the bottom of that strand, that's one wrap. And we're gonna be wrapping our hand 40 times. So two, three, four, five, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So once we've reached 40, I'm gonna lay all of those strands down to kind of secure that piece of yarn. And we're gonna take our scissors Cut that, again, leaving just a little tail because this is pulled pretty taut where you're gonna get a little bit of shrinkage. Then this is where our crochet hook and one of our 15 inch strands comes in. So we're gonna lay one of these strands over our thumb. Just gonna pinch that with my thumb here. Then I'm gonna take the crochet hook and I'm going to point it down or towards my hand. That way we don't catch any threads accidentally. And then I'm going to come up over this strand, pinch it with my thumb and pull it through just like that. So we're done with that hook for now. There we go. There's the other side of our strand. Now I'm going to tie these together. First I'm gonna make sure they're relatively close in length. And then just tie a very loose knot, because we are doing this one-handed. Okay. It'd be a little tricky. Okay. So we're just wanting to make sure that we don't lose all of these strands here. I'm going to grab a hold of where I tied it and I'm going to pull out all but one of my fingers here. I'm going to leave my finger in there just so we can see. I'm going to go ahead and put them on my thumb now. So you want to make sure that you can see all the strands, all these wraps. I'm going to leave my thumb in there now. Then I'm going to take my scissors and very carefully we're going to replace our thumb with the scissors. So if I tilt my work here, you can see I'm going through the middle of these wraps. Then I'm going to hold, hold that taut and cut through all those strands. 
And now I can go ahead and go back up to that loose knot and secure it. So we're gonna tighten that up. And then I'm gonna press down in the middle here so that doesn't loosen up at all. And I'm gonna make a second knot. Okay, so once I've secured that with a double knot, I'm gonna go ahead and take my fingers and just smooth out all of these strands of yarn. You can even hit this with a little bit of steam from your iron. Being careful not to actually touch the strands, but just kind of hit it with some steam. But this looks like it's smoothing out pretty well. So now I'm gonna lay that down here. And I'm gonna take my second piece of 15 inch length double strands. I'm gonna lay that here. And then I'm gonna lay my tassel down on top of that, right in the middle. And I'm leaving about an inch and a half or two at the top. So now I'm gonna tie these strands in one knot, just like so. Get that nice and tight. And then I'm gonna, again, push down with my thumb so that doesn't loosen up. And then we're gonna secure that with a second knot. There we go. So that's nice and secure now. And now, what I like to do with these long strands, this is why I make them 15 inches long. That way you don't get them confused with your fringe pieces. But what I like to do is take both of those strands and wrap them around the tassel that I've just made. This just kind of hides that little knot that we made. So there's the knot, and we're just gonna hide it with this yarn. And you usually can wrap this a couple of times. We're gonna leave about a two inch um, section there at the end. And we're gonna use our crochet hook again. We're gonna go underneath all of the strands that we use to wrap our tassel. We're gonna go up and then grab a hold of these yarn tails and you may have to split these in half because they get kind of thick. And then you're gonna pull that down through the tassel. So again, we're gonna go up underneath and pull these strands down through the tassel. So if you look here, you can see we have hidden our knot from our tassel. And now we're ready to go ahead and smooth these out again. And we're gonna even these up. So what I like to do is locate the shortest of our pieces of yarn. Looks like that's about there. And then take your scissors and very, very carefully even up by cutting through. And this is why it helps to have very, very sharp scissors, but also long scissors. Because the shorter they are, the, the harder this is to do. And then I kind of rotate the tassel and continue cutting. Be really careful. You don't want to cut the side of your hand here. So we just even those up. That looks pretty even. So there we have made our yarn tassel. So I hope this technique and video helps you guys out. Thanks so much for watching.